What's up guys? We're here with uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. I just installed this again. It's one of the best looking games. Um, it's the Unity engine that Ubisoft used. But um, I actually wanted to do this video uh, in light of uh, what was announced uh, late last evening was um, the uh, NVIDIA Titan X, which is kind of insane to be honest. Uh, it was totally not expected by anyone. Um, especially this early, uh, it just seems kind of odd that, um, oh shit. Ah, oh, crap. I'm getting wrecked. But, um, so the Titan X, no, oh, god damn it, that's the thing I hate about this game. Um, but, uh, as I was saying, as I'm getting wrecked here, uh, the Titan X, the new one, um, has, uh, you know, 35, uh, 84 CUDA cores, which is pretty high, but the biggest difference is it's a Pascal card, so, which is insane. Damn it, I got flash banged. Execution, yeah. But uh, as I said, <laughs> wrecked him with a guillotine gun. Yeah, eat shit. Um, it has 3584 CUDA cores and the base clock is actually 1417 megahertz which is quite a bit less than the GTX 1080 which is uh, 1607 megahertz now uh, when I first heard this I, I really thought there was some sort of mistake because first of all uh, the name is just awful I mean they already had a Titan X so I had no idea why they called the new one a Titan X as well so, um, anyway, I don't have the Titan X's anymore, so obviously I'll be getting the new Titan X's. My biggest concern is whether the, the Titan X will allow three or four way SLI in games. As we all know, uh, the GTX 1080 has been gimped to essentially just two way SLI for gaming and um, basically non benchmark stuff. So, if you're looking to just bench, then 4-way SLI is possible, and I did get four 1080s, but I had two in each of my rigs uh, because 4-way SLI doesn't work anymore. Um, but if the Titan X does allow 4-way SLI, that's going to be amazing. Um, I'm definitely going to get four of them um, and, you know, get some awesome performance figures at, at 5K. But, I mean, having said that, just look at look at this for instance I'm playing unity um, what does this do uh, okay just some stupid note um, you know I'm playing unity um, let me just disable this thing here there we go what oh my god yeah boy Um, you know, I'm playing Unity here with just two 1080s at uh, 5K with everything maxed out. So let me just show you guys real quick. So playing at 5K. Um, let's see, advanced graphics, ultra high, ultra high, soft shadows, uh, HBOB plus ambient occlusion, no AA, of course. I'm playing with some bloom, but um. It's just, it's quite amazing. I, I forget how to, oh, there we go. Left trigger is sneak. Peekaboo. I poked him, kind of like in Facebook. There we go. That's how you do unlock. I like that system, actually. Get some loot. 
There's some other moron here. I'm just gonna wreck him. Pa! Let's climb up. But uh, as I was saying, with two 1080s, I'm getting about 65, 70 frames a second with everything maxed out at 5K. Whereas when I had four Titan X's, um, you know, it took like three Titan X's, I believe, to get around the same uh, frame rate. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. Um, like how well the uh, the Pascal GPUs perform. Uh, as I mentioned in the SLI talk video, um, this is the first time that I've ever seen two cards perform, you know, pretty much equivalent to uh, four GPUs. This has never happened before. Uh, it, I can pretty much guarantee after having the 1080s for a couple of months now, or not a couple of months, sorry, but like a month and a half, um, they perform um, much better than three Titan X's and almost as well as uh, four Titan X's in most games. Now, of course, the only downside is the VRAM is not quite enough, but um, at 5K, I mean, most games still are under 8 gigs um, if you're using no AA. So, as you can see with this, oh, let's, let's get these guys here. Yeah, double take. How is that an error assassination? Anyway. Alright, what are we supposed to do here? This is weird. I'm kind of lost, but anyway. Um, so having said that, the um, going back to the new Titan X that was announced yesterday, the base clock is 1417 megahertz, and the boost clock is 1531, so it's quite a bit less. Um, the advantage with the new Titan X, of course, is it comes with the old 12 gigs of VRAM, which the 1080s don't have. Now, the biggest difference is the new Titan X is uh, the Pascal architecture. So, imagine this kind of performance with 12 gigs of VRAM. It's going to be amazing. Uh, but, you know, the funny thing is the 1080s perform, like, phenomenally well at 5K. So, it's not like, you know, I have to have the, the 12 gigs of VRAM in order to play, like, you know, games with settings turned up. It's already evident that that's not really required as I've shown in many of the gameplay videos that I've done. So, moving on, the uh, I'll read off some of the specs, some more of the specs of the new Titan X. It's got a 384-bit bus, and um, it still has the GDDR5 uh, memory. A lot of people were expecting the HBM2, which I believe is where you can actually like add the VRAM or the car number of cards you have. Um, I suppose that still can't be done because it still has the GDDR5 RAM on the card. Um, the cool thing is going to be, of course, the new Titan X will support the HP uh, SLI bridge. So I'd like to see the performance difference with that. I'll make sure to do some videos uh, to show you guys. And uh, it obviously supports the Vulkan API. And, um, you know, it's going to be one of those uh, things where... Uh, two cards are going to pretty much wreck everything out there. Now what would be amazing is I'll, I'll do some tests with a single Titan X at 4K and I'm pretty sure this may be the first time where we can actually see 60 frames a second with a single card at 4K. It's going to be unprecedented. Um, that has never happened before. A lot of people said, oh, the 1080 is the one that does it. And eh, not really. Like, it, it, it doesn't... Um, let me blast this guy here. What the hell? I forget how to... Yeah. <laughs> You're dead. Oh. Um... Okay, let's head over to that uh, memory marker, I guess. But, yeah, the new Titan X is just, um... <laughs> I first thought it had to be some sort of, like, April Fool's joke, but obviously it's July, so that was out of the question. I don't understand how 
NVIDIA thought that it would be a good idea to release, um, let's see, Stun Grenade, yeah. Oh shit, that shot me, god damn it. What? You punk. See how pathetic the controls are? Oh, they really should improve the combat system. Even Syndicate wasn't that good. Yeah, there you go. Let me just take this guy out from the top. Boom! That's how you do. Um... Where's that chest? But, uh, to announce, like, another top-of-the-line card, literally, like, less than two months after the previous one was announced is just, um, I don't know. It, it just seems kind of odd. Um, so I'm wondering if the new, like, big Titan or whatever they're going to release in March, uh, February, March next year, if that's going to be, um... If that's going to be like 16 gigs of VRAM with the HBM2 um, uh, um, memory, um, and would it be the real successor to the previous Titan X? I don't know, but um, you know. Anyway, I mean, I'm I don't care. I mean, it's going to be the best card out, so I'll obviously be getting them. But I just feel like a lot of people who may not have that option of just upgrading every generation would feel kind of miffed if they like really you know saved up for a 1080 uh got it and you know it's past like the return date or whatever and they now announced the titan x and they just got one upped again so you know i, I guess other than like the ep shrinkage there isn't a lot of downsides to it because the 1080 is still a phenomenal card what you motherfucker what get him I oh, just like sat on him. How stupid was that? I like, too can play that game, you bitch. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. The fucking combat system in this is horrible. That was freaking pathetic. That's how you dodge. Whoa. This is crazy. Controls. And Ubisoft, if you're watching this video, like seriously, drop me a line. I'll help you guys design the combat system. I won the Killer Instinct 2 tournament back in 1996. You guys should really up your combo system. This is pathetic. That'd be kind of funny, like if you had this game and go Ultra Combo. But anyway, um, yeah, I just, as I said, I feel kind of bad for the people who, you know, like can't upgrade that often and they just bought the 1080s um but then again like it's a 1080 and like you know you're doing fine if you have 1080s in your system you can play pretty much every game like max out and i doubt a lot of you are playing at 5k anyway so if you're playing at like 4k and you have sli 1080s you're fine for like years to come like there's just no issue like battlefield one when it comes out in october is going to just like you know eat up um, whoa, shit. That was scary. Uh, eat up the, um, GPU power of the 1080s. Of course, I'll be bringing you the performance figures with the Titan X's and the 1080s. Um, on that note, I'll probably do get rid of my 980 Ti classified, so if any of you are interested, 
you know, just uh, feel free to contact me on Facebook or even leave a comment uh, below and if you want to purchase them. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's my thoughts on the new Titan X. I really don't like the new name, to be frank, but you know the performance is going to be epic, and that's all that should matter. And like, I really think that that's the case. So, um, it's just going to be uh, going to be a fun time. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hit the like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.